I couldn't believe what had happened to me. As I stood there in the bustling mall, my mind was a whirlwind of confusion and disbelief. How had I ended up like this? Just moments ago, I was in the middle of a heated argument with my girlfriend about her style, about how she dressed too butch for my liking. My friends had started teasing me, calling me the woman in the relationship, and it had begun to eat away at me. But now, all of that seemed like a distant memory, overshadowed by my current predicament. I blinked, my long, thick eyelashes fluttering against my cheeks, and it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was dressed in the most outrageous, girly outfit I could imagine. Panic surged through me, and I let out a high-pitched, girlish scream, only to quickly stifle it as heads turned, and curious eyes bore into me. I desperately tried to make a run for the exit, but it was as though my body had a mind of its own. My hand was glued to my hip, and my legs moved with an exaggerated, sexy sachet that I had never known I was capable of. My pink flowery skirt swayed and fluttered around me as I minced forward in my pink high-heeled boots. I was mortified beyond belief, and all I could think of was escaping the mall and hiding from the world until this nightmare was over. My eyes scanned the surroundings, searching for the nearest exit. But then, as I caught my reflection in a polished glass door, everything came crashing down around me. I stared in shock at the reflection that stared back at me. Those big, doll-like eyes, the cute, furry fringes of my boots, and the impossibly perfect curves of my body left me in disbelief. I was a living, breathing Barbie doll, transformed into something I couldn't comprehend. Even as I stood there, frozen in shock, my hips instinctively cocked themselves into a sexy, feminine pose. What had I become? How had this transformation occurred? Questions swirled in my mind, but for now, all I could do was stand there, a bewildered and transformed version of myself, in the middle of the mall, surrounded by curious onlookers. The mall seemed to buzz with a mixture of shock, amusement, and curiosity. Shoppers and passers-by had paused to witness my surreal transformation into what could only be described as a living mannequin of exaggerated femininity. I desperately tried to regain control of my body, but it seemed utterly futile. My movements were graceful, seductive even, but they were also entirely beyond my control. Each step was a flirtatious sway, and my fingers danced along my impossibly slender waist with a delicate sensuality that I couldn't have faked if I tried. Panicked thoughts raced through my mind. How had this happened? Was it some bizarre curse, a prank gone horribly wrong, or something even more inexplicable? I couldn't even remember the specifics of the argument with my girlfriend anymore. It all felt like a distant memory overshadowed by the reality of my current situation. People in the mall continued to stare, some chuckling, others snapping photos with their smartphones. I felt my cheeks flush with embarrassment, but even my blush seemed to follow a script of perfect femininity. I attempted to speak, to ask for help, but the words that came out were not my own. Instead, a sultry, melodious voice emerged, dripping with honeyed tones that sent shivers down my spine. Can someone please help me? I pleaded, my voice dripping with vulnerability and seduction simultaneously. A few shoppers exchanged glances, and one kind-hearted woman stepped forward. She reached out to touch my arm, and as her fingers made contact, a jolt of energy surged through me. Suddenly, I felt a flicker of control returning. Please, you have to help me, I implored in my own voice, the sultriness fading. I don't know how this happened, but I need to figure it out and reverse it. The woman nodded sympathetically, and together, we began to unravel the bizarre mystery that had transformed me into this living Barbie doll. Little did I know that this strange journey was just beginning, and it would lead me down a path of self-discovery, unexpected friendships, and a deeper understanding of what it truly meant to be comfortable in one's own skin.